Hello there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's video is going to be a little bit different from the previous ones where you see us out and about, diving, having a lot of fun. Uh, but I thought it would be important to uh, do a video to talk about diving accidents and the plans and procedures we have in place in order to firstly avoid them from happening and secondly how to deal with them um, in a safe manner. We have finished diving for today. I am currently in our dive boat, which is going to be my filming studio over the next hour or so. Hopefully I won't need to do too many takes as my talking to the camera skills are still uh, improving, shall we say. Um, so I thought it would be interesting to actually tell you a little bit more about uh, what goes into uh, an operation, a dive operation prior to actually diving and um, what goes into it. Alongside um, many stages of planning, um, one of the most important parts of the operation is a risk assessment uh, in order to make sure all personnel and people involved in an operation are familiar with their job uh, and the responsibilities during the operation. Um, so during a team uh, a briefing of the job, um, sort of we discuss that this and go through the risk assessment. Uh, and also identify all the hazards and risks and how we can uh, reduce them and also how we can be prepared to deal with them as best as we can. Now, one of the most important part of the operation is the standby drill and the rescue um, in case there was an emergency. Typically on a project, uh, it's normally the first dive of the project is a, a standby rescue drill. Um, also, we carry out these uh, rescue drills on a regular basis uh, just to make sure uh, it becomes second nature on how to follow up um, on the procedures we have uh, once an accident has occurred. Now, I thought it would be interesting to actually show you some footage that I have from a rescue drill. Now, this rescue drill was um, conducted in during uh, my dive supervisor course that I did. Um, November last year in uh, diving school of uh, Bergen. Um, so I thought it would be interesting for you just to see the footage and I'm going to be doing a running commentary of, um, of, the, of the drill. Now unfortunately the, the quality of the footage isn't the best. It was shot by um, just a mobile phone so I apologize for that um, but I'm still going to do talk you through it and explain um, what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to start the recording. Okay, here we go. Now, this is uh, Eskil, my friend, we were actually doing the, the supervisor course together. And in this particular scenario, he's the supervisor, I am the standby diver, and we are having an unresponsive diver. The dive is a um, to carry out an inspection of a pipe. Uh, the diver is just going down now to locate the pipe. And uh, it's going to become unresponsive. You located the sewer pipe? So Eskil is just asking Mark? if uh, the diver has located the pipe, no response. Mark, can you read me? Asked him a few times, no response. Standby diver! And we are getting the standby diver ready, which is me in this case. Now at this point, I have already been checked out, ready to go, I'm on a main air. All I need to do is put my mask on, which the tender is helping me, and I am good to go. So typically the aim is to deploy the standby diver within a minute to carry out a rescue. Now I'm going in the water, locating the, the Diver 1 umbilical. As you can see, I am following the umbilical down. And during this process, I am constantly talking to the supervisor and updating him on what's going on. 
whether the diver is breathing, whether he's stuck, or what sort of condition he appears to be. Okay, so I've located the diver. I have actually opened his free flow uh, valve, which allows just to f uh, flush his, his mask with, uh, with fresh air. It's part of the drill. And um, at this point, I'm going to ask the tender to come up on the diver's uh, umbilical to allow him to um, recover him to the surface. Now, this way, I'm actually having a bit more control on the speed of the ascent. Although we're trying to get the diver up as quick as we can, we still want to somehow control the speed of the ascent. So we've managed to get the diver on the surface. The tender is going to pull him up. Now you can see his uh, mask is bubbling away because of the, the free flow being open. Okay, we've got the diver the, on the surface. Now I'm going to climb out get my mask off and assist with the rescue. Now at this point the tender has uh, taken the diver's mask off and he's talking to him. Just assessing the situation really whether we require to carry CPR. Now in this case, the diver has actually come around and he's talking and he's uh, become uh, un uh, become conscious. Okay, we're going to get the diver on uh, some oxygen, just to help him with the recovery a little bit. Now Eskil, the supervisor at this point, is talking to the emergency services and the ambulance um, to update them with uh, what sort of services and assistance we're going to need. Um, in certain cases, we can uh, call a dive doctor directly uh, to ask for assistance. Okay, so the ambulance is on its way. Okay. Okay, and exercise. That's the end of the exercise. Okay. So I've hoped you enjoyed that little clip. Um, I thought it would be more realistic if I actually just show you rather than uh, talking about it. And again, apologies for the poor quality um, of uh, of this video. Um, now, just to finalize everything, really, um, can diving be dangerous? Yes. Uh, can it be done in a safe manner? Absolutely. Um, we sort of do this uh, on a daily basis um, as long as uh, we carry out risk assessments, as long as we, our personnel and people involved in the operation are informed of what's going on and they know how to deal with the situation uh, should there ever be an emergency. Um, the operation can be conducted uh, in a safe manner. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, anything you'd like to ask, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.